Contrary to what your doctor might tell you, hypothyroid support supplements can absolutely help you feel better. You don't need to take my word for it either. There are literally thousands upon thousands of thyroid patients who take them every single month. And these people wouldn't continue to spend their hard-earned money if they didn't do anything. Getting results when taking these thyroid support supplements is all about having the right expectations and using the correct supplements. If you think that taking some thyroid support supplements is going to negate your need for thyroid medication, then think again. While powerful, thyroid supplements are really just supplemental to everything else that you're doing, which means they won't take the place of your thyroid medication or the need to improve your lifestyle. But don't get confused into thinking they can't help just because they won't take the place of your medication. When the right ones are used, thyroid patients report having an improvement in all sorts of thyroid-related symptoms like weight gain, fatigue, hair loss, constipation, and more. But which ones can get you these kind of results? That's exactly what we're going to be talking about starting right now. And number one on that list is called gugglesterone. Gugglesterone is the beneficial compound that comes from the guggle tree and it's been used in Ayurvedic medicine for thousands of years. Traditionally, it was used to treat conditions like weight gain, acne, and even high cholesterol, but more recently, some studies have shown that it has beneficial effects on the thyroid. For instance, this study showed that the use of guggle completely reversed induced hypothyroidism. And another showed that it increased iodine uptake into the thyroid gland and activated the enzyme thyroid peroxidase, both of which resulted in an increase in thyroid hormone production. Even though these aren't human studies, I can tell you from personal experience that thyroid patients do benefit from taking this ingredient, which is why I've included it in my T3 conversion booster supplement. But even if we assume that the animal studies aren't indicative of what would happen if a human took this ingredient, there's still a good reason to use it if you are a thyroid patient. And that's because its other well-known and documented benefits provide support to the very symptoms that thyroid patients struggle from the most. This includes things like high cholesterol, acne, and even inflammation, which often accompanies conditions like Hashimoto's thyroiditis. If you want to use gugglesterone, then look for a supplement that contains guggle extract at around 500 milligrams per day. Number two on the list is the thyroid hormone T2. T2 is an actual thyroid hormone and the only one, by the way, that is available over the counter. And right now, it also just so happens to be the only thyroid hormone that is available in cream form. While not as powerful as T3 thyroid hormone, T2 still helps to regulate metabolism, brown fat, and cholesterol. Not only does it have its own functions, it also seems to stabilize T3 levels and to enhance T3 activation at the thyroid nuclear receptor. But why should thyroid patients think about taking T2? Because you can't forget the way that your body creates these thyroid hormones. It takes the higher level thyroid hormones like T4 and T3, and it breaks those down into smaller thyroid hormones like T2 and T1. And there's a very good chance if you have hypothyroidism, which means that your T4 and T3 levels will be low, that you will also have a problem creating the other thyroid hormones like T2 and T1. So taking extra T2 allows you to more closely mimic the thyroid hormone function of a healthy thyroid gland. And this in turn means that you will have better thyroid function and better symptom control. If you want to supplement with T2, make sure you use the active form, which is called 3,5-diiodo-L-thyronine, and your dose will be about 100 micrograms per day. If you are using T2 cream, then that dose will be about half, and you'll only want to take 50 micrograms per day due to the increased absorption through the topical route. And by the way, dosing is very safe when using T2 as long as your total daily dose does not exceed 300 micrograms per day. Number three is rhodiola. Adaptogenic herbs like rhodiola are extremely popular among thyroid patients for one big reason. They help to naturally balance cortisol. Cortisol, of course, is the stress hormone produced by your adrenal glands when your body is in a state of stress. And thyroid patients, owing to the impact that thyroid dysfunction has on cortisol regulation, are more susceptible to the effects of stress. In other words, as a thyroid patient, your cortisol level will be much less stable than someone who has a healthy thyroid gland. And this decreased instability is one of the main reasons that thyroid patients often suffer from insomnia as well as fatigue. Taking rhodiola often provides a boost to energy and an improvement in sleep because it helps to balance out cortisol. It can't take away your stress entirely, but what it can do is limit the negative effects that stress has on your body by making you more resilient. Rhodiola happens to be one of my preferred adaptogens for thyroid patients because it provides a more stimulating effect compared to other adaptogens like ashwagandha. 
But don't get me wrong, ashwagandha is still a great adaptogen and many thyroid patients prefer it over rhodiola. So what I would recommend is playing around with the different types of adaptogens until you find one that works best for your body. Number four on the list is a compound called calcium d -glucarate. Your liver is by far the most important organ when it comes to thyroid function. It's not only the site of 80% of T3 production in your body, it also happens to be the site where your body eliminates potentially thyroid impairing compounds like endocrine disrupting chemicals. If your liver is compromised in any way, it will perform these two critical functions less efficiently. You may not think that's a problem because after all, isn't it obvious if you have a liver problem? The answer is no. The most common cause of liver dysfunction is a condition called fatty liver disease. And the most common symptom associated with fatty liver disease is nothing. Most people who have a fatty liver have no idea that they do, and this includes thyroid patients. So you may be running around completely unaware that your liver is damaged and unaware of its negative impact on your thyroid. This is exactly why I've included calcium D-glucarate on this list. While it doesn't support thyroid function directly, what it does is support liver function, which then indirectly supports your thyroid. But what is calcium D-glucarate? It's the salt form of a naturally occurring compound called glucaric acid that is normally found in fruits and vegetables. The problem is you can't take glucaric acid in supplement form, but what you can do is take calcium D-glucarate, which provides your body with a concentrated dose of this beneficial compound. If you want to get technical, here's how it's actually working in your liver. It inhibits an enzyme called beta-glucuronidase, which is involved in the phase two detoxification pathway inside of your liver. Put into really simple terms, what it's doing is upregulating your liver's ability to eliminate harmful compounds. On top of this benefit, it also supports the breakdown of estrogen into natural and healthy byproducts. And they also suffer from a relative imbalance between estrogen and progesterone in favor of more estrogen. Taking calcium D-glucarate can solve both of these problems while also enhancing T3 production. Number five on the list is L-tyrosine. Tyrosine is a non-essential amino acid that your body requires to create thyroxine, melatonin, epinephrine, and dopamine. Thyroxine, of course, is the hormone we're interested in because it is also known as T4 thyroid hormone. Without tyrosine, your body would be unable to create any of these hormones, including T4. The reality is though that most people do not have a problem in consuming enough tyrosine. In fact, true tyrosine deficiencies are incredibly uncommon outside of a few rare genetic disorders. But what's interesting here is that many people who take L-tyrosine, even though they are not deficient, still see improvement in thyroid related symptoms. These usually come in the form of more energy and better cognition. So even though you may not be truly deficient in tyrosine, doesn't mean that you won't have benefits if you'd start supplementing with it. Given its stimulatory nature, because remember, it helps your body produce epinephrine, thyroid patients don't need very much of it. And some people tend to be very sensitive to L-tyrosine, which is why lower doses tend to be preferred. For most thyroid patients, a dose of around 100 to 200 milligrams per day will do the trick. Number six on the list is a compound called inositol. Inositol is a sugar-like compound that helps support your thyroid in several different ways. And it's often found in supplements that contain myo-inositol, which is the most abundant stereoisomer of the inositol family. How it impacts thyroid physiology is actually pretty complex, but you can think about it like this. Inositol is used to augment the downstream effects of TSH receptor activation by acting as a secondary messenger. In essence, what it's doing is acting as a megaphone for the cellular effects of TSH stimulation. While that may not seem like a big deal when you hear it, it actually is, and we have several studies to prove it. Here are just a few to drive this point home. In patients with subclinical hypothyroidism, the combination of myo-inositol plus selenium resulted in a decrease in TSH by 21% over three months, and that benefit continued to improve over the course of a year. Another study showed that in PCOS patients, the combination of myo-inositol plus metformin resulted in significant decrease in TSH compared to just metformin alone. And finally, in patients with Hashimoto's thyroiditis, the use of selenium plus myo-inositol resulted in improvements in all thyroid lab tests, including thyroid antibodies. Inositol is another one of those amazing thyroid support supplements, and most thyroid patients have no idea it even exists. If you are a hypothyroid patient who is struggling to get your symptoms under control, then I'd recommend looking into any or all of these hypothyroid support supplements. 
And if you are somebody who is already taking a lot of different supplements, make sure that you're not taking any that may accidentally harm your thyroid. If you wanna see a list of supplements and compounds that may harm your thyroid, then I'd recommend checking out this video next.